C4 Labs cases. Now, um, as I've been doing this uh, YouTube uh, malarkey, the videos and uh, all the, the the footage is kind of at the moment being stored on various separate drives. Now, I've been thinking that there's actually some really, really useful um, Raspberry Pi type uh, software available to create your own like NAS. Now I've been thinking, what can I use to actually do this? Now C4 Labs actually contacted me um, probably a couple of months ago now and asked if I would actually be interested in looking at some of their cases. And I said, yes, of course, that would be really, really fantastic. And um, they sent me a, like a, basically a little range of, of cases and uh, amongst them, is this one now this is their cloudlet case and i think you can see the instructions here um and essentially what this is is a very large um acrylic sort of structure it's, it's quite large it's um it's about i would say it's about nine inches um by sort of four and a half inches um by four inches uh sort of size case and it, this comes partly assembled it actually comes folded. Um, this sort of like acrylic structure is already folded and this part is already assembled. What you have to do is in the inside here, you can see these um, these black parts of acrylic. You have to screw those in. So what you do is you get a bag of screws like so, and you just basically sort out the various uh, lengths and how I did it. And they actually do give you some really good instructions here um, to assemble the side and you can just see here this these sides are actually screwed in just with the the 10 mil screws and uh or i think it's 10 mil it's, it's eight mil actually there are eight mil screws that just go in this sort of side or 516 if you're in uh, in us right okay so um that's how i did that now in amongst here you'll see well in fact if i show you on this board here they also give you these like flat bits of um acrylic now what these are these are like the cassettes that's kind of slot in and then just lock in and I'll, I'll show you how they they go together on the underside here you can see that um you'll see there's a, a little tiny ferrule there okay now you use those as nuts there is one that is under underneath the board itself or the, the small board computer and then there's one on the other side that acts as a nut and so you need to find all those screws together um, just set lay them out there's quite a few of those screws and they're actually um, they looks like 12 mil those screws or half an inch if you're in the US um, and so yeah they, they just simply screw through like so absolutely very very easy you need to set up four of those and how I did it was I actually part assembled these onto the uh, Pi uh, 3 first and then pushed them through the acrylic cassette and then just nip the the um the rear uh, ferrule one and then that made that, that whole thing now inside they also it comes with the case are these four um, fans now you need to find the 20 mils um i think they're 20 mil or three quarter um inch um screws that go inside now they they these will be um now i would probably know them as something like I don't know, 2BA or 3BA or something like that, but they're, I can't remember what they are in uh, in, in US, but they are three mil uh, screws, so eighth of an inch um, sort of uh, diameter. And they're, they're 20 mil or um, three quarters of an inch long. Um, they basically just bolt the, the fans on the inside. Now, the fans go through so that the cables are on the inside. Um, these will only rotate one way and you need to get, I think, I think it draws air out. I can't actually remember um, how it goes. But uh, anyway, there you go. That's the simple part of those. Now, what you need to do on the Raspberry Pi, you need to find, it's an interesting one, this. There's uh, lots of ways of doing this. If you want to, you can actually go on to um, Amazon and buy, I think the best one is the Anchor version, where it's like a USB um, charger uh, port and it's got like eight um usb sockets and then you can just use very short multicolored leads and that's a nice way of doing it if you keep all the colors together so you say yellow is one board or whatever if you're going to run more than one pi i'm not i'm going to use 
probably one pi in here and then probably say um, I'm going to go for um, 2.5 uh, red drives um, or you know 2.5 iomorph drives or something in, in the bottom and what I'm going to do is I'm going to power um, I'm going to use I'm going to probably power off of these these GPIO pins and then use like a proper uh, 5 amp uh, five volt uh, power supply to give me the what I need from this so yeah so that's very easy these can also if you've got more than one pi in there and you're going to power them off of the USB uh, port here what you can do is just plug those on the GPIO on each of the boards and that will give you then the, the five volts for those um, and obviously the, each the anchor power port via the USB will give you the power for the Raspberry Pi now once you've done that these are really really easy they just slot in the in the two holes down the end and then here you've got like a little catch and if you just gently push on that that clips in so now you've got a raspberry pi in there and if you wanted to add more you can quite simply just push that in like so up the top there just push that one in there and you can sort of see you could make something like a docker cluster or something like that and that's kind of probably where i'm going to end up with one of them because i've got another one here as well i'm probably going to do a docker cluster and i'm going to do my nas drive because in here if you look on here there's four holes um, i'm rather hoping that they're going to line up with the hard drive um holes um, so that means I can do that or I'm just going to have to drill my own holes in it. It doesn't matter. Um, just point of fact, if you come to drill anything with the acrylic, you want to use um, probably a pin drill. And um, that's the easiest way of doing it. And that will give you a nice clean hole. The trouble with acrylic is it grabs. OK, and how we used to do it. Um, back in the in the workshop was we used to back a drill off what they called a back a drill off where you would you would purposely dull the um, the cutting edge um, of the the drill bit by putting an absolute dead flat on it so um, there was a, a bit of a technique for doing it and what it does is it actually creates a lot of heat as it drills and it softens the plastic up as you're going and it almost I won't say melts its way through that's it still cuts but it softens the whole process up and it stops it from grabbing and that's a really important thing but if you don't have that technique or the access to a, to a bench grinder to do it then the easiest way is to use a pin drill because they've got a very very flat cut so the pin will go through and then you'll get a very flat cut and what i would do is put that very flat on a, on a surface and and really hold it down nicely with some sort of like peg clamps or something like that because obviously what you don't want to do is to drill to grab and then fly through so do take care if you do need to drill um, the acrylic but you shouldn't need to this is pretty much um, all there also you'll notice here there's a couple of like little slots that's to put a cable tie through and that gives you your cable management so if you've gone in here with a with a usb sort of power connection you can just twiddle it around put it through there and a nice little cable tie and that just stops it from you know just uh, being pulled and tugged and stuff like that and you've got more here as well for things like if you want to drag through um you know sort of your uh, ethernet ports and that sort of stuff so that's that also i'll just uh i'll show you here as well you've also got some holes in the side here as well for cable access so if you needed to get the hdmi cables out they can go through down whatever or if the when you've got the you know the um the, the router um in the bottom or whatever it like you know it, it will all sort of fit nicely um so yeah that is the c4 labs cloudlet case and um like i said before i'm really really impressed with the c4 labs stuff and they are just so nice um from a from a sort of uh from a customer point of view, when, I, when I've when i had any dealings at all with, with C4 Labs, they've just been so, so friendly um, and so nice. Um, and you know, as I say, they sent me these uh, free of charge and I said I would actually just sort of, you know, do some stuff with them. And this one is probably a little bit out there for me, but I do have a little, little use for it. And I can see this one being very, very popular for sort of like um, things like a Docker a docker swarm um or you know sort of uh, maybe 
you know some kind of home automation sort of project where you're using a bit of node red or something like that and you can you can docker these like things up and actually use a raspberry pi for each of the docker um, containers and you know maybe spread the load or whatever you want to do with it it's a really intriguing uh, any, um, bit of kit you know and prospects you know ideas really sort of coming from this so that'll do for this one i think um c4 labs go visit them they're uh, at uh, www.c4labs.com um and uh, they're based in the um the us um so and they ship i think uh, all over the world so just uh, if you have any questions give them a shout um also if you've got any ideas or, th or things you need do give them a shout because they they do also offer a design service what more can i say um for acrylics so have you got a special sort of uh request for a case or something like that then uh, why not so thanks for watching don't forget subscribe thumbs up thumbs down all that sort of good stuff i'm desperate to get to a thousand subscribers this year um i've really got some great ideas to uh, do with live um and or with a live stream um, but unfortunately youtube won't let me do it until i've got a thousand subs so let's make it happen and uh, say thanks for watching see you next time